We're going to take a closer look at time and the way that we split time into a.m. and p.m. You might hear somebody say, oh, school starts at 8 o'clock a.m., and usually you might go to dinner around 8.30 p.m. The reason that we do this is because there are 24 hours in a day, but we split those into 12 hours at a time. So there are 12 hours in the a.m., and there are 12 hours in the p.m. And to help us keep these separate, what we're going to do is we're going to brainstorm some things that happen in the a.m. and some things that happen in the p.m. So a.m., when I first think of a.m., I think of the morning, when you first wake up. So maybe you wake up at 6 or 7 o'clock a.m. Some people wake up a little bit later, around 8 o'clock a.m. Um, some other things that happen in the a.m. are you eat, bre you eat breakfast, you go to school, um, those are things that generally happen for most students in the a.m. In the p.m. is what I think of, I think of nighttime. I think that of dinner. Um, in the p.m. is also the afternoon, so that's usually when you leave school is in the p.m. So this is, um, we'll also separate this into before school, so that's time when you're still asleep in the a.m. and after school. So any other after school activities you might do, maybe you play sports on a team or maybe um, you have music practice, that's generally going to happen after school or in the p.m. So this is a good helpful way to remember that a.m. is things that happen in the morning or uh, any time between midnight and noon, and p.m. is anything that happens in the afternoon or the evening.